how to get the most out of your sous chef food processor. He will guide you through the unboxing process, help you get to know all the parts, explain how to get the most out of each attachment, and share some handy tips for getting the best results from your new kitchen companion. Let's get started. Let's unbox the appliance. Open the top flap and lay the box down. Remove the top tray to reveal your appliance. Take out the base and then bowl, lid and caddy. Place these on a solid surface and remove the protective packaging. There are several small stickers that protect the machine in transit. Make sure you remove all of these. Within the bowl, you'll find the storage caddy. All of the machine's attachments are conveniently stored within. Before using your food processor for the first time, use a soft cloth or brush to wash the bowl, lid and attachments in warm soapy water. Rinse and dry before use. To use the machine, the handle must always align with the control panel. On the control panel, you'll see a button for power, pulse and play stop. In order for the machine to operate, you must first power it on and then activate the pulse function or press play stop. Note, the machine will only operate when the lid is on the bowl and the large pusher is inserted into the feed chute. Now let's dive into the attachments. The S-Blade is perfect for chopping and blending. To use, lock it in place by holding onto the spindle and turning it clockwise until it's firm, then place it into the bowl. The blade processes very efficiently, so always be careful not to over-process your ingredients. The dough blade is ideal for kneading. The edges of the plastic dough blade create a softer action for combining dough ingredients, encouraging the dough to stretch rather than cut. To use the dough blade, first lock it into the spindle similar to the S blade. The reversible shredder has two sizes depending on what you're shredding. The larger pattern may be used for grating fruit, vegetables or soft cheeses like mozzarella, while you might use the finer pattern for hard cheeses like parmesan. First, insert the spindle into the bowl, then place the reversible shredder on top. The spindle aligns to the centre shape in the disc. For larger or finer results, simply flip the disc over. The 15 size adjustable slicer can create slices from 1 to 5 millimetres. First, adjust the slice thickness by twisting here. Insert the spindle and place the slicing disc on top. It will align similar to the shredder. The slicer can make fast work of anything, even delicate fruits. For storage and safety purposes, remember to return the disc to its storage position at zero when you're done. All of the machine's attachments are incredibly easy to store. They all fit together seamlessly inside the caddy, which in turn fits inside the bowl. There's no order of assembly required for the caddy. You can access each part individually without having to remove any other. Notice the colour coding. Match the colours and you'll store away your attachments correctly every time. Let's discuss some tips and tricks to get the most from your appliance. Sequencing your preparation will minimise cleaning and speed up your cooking. The goal here is to process things in an order, which allows you to keep everything in the bowl without decanting any of the ingredients. For instance, if you're processing beef and garlic for meatballs, start with the garlic. This will ensure the garlic is processed properly before the beef is added. Your machine has an extra wide feed chute to fit a large variety of ingredients. However, it's important to always use the chute best sized for what you're processing. A snug fit will make for the best results. Finally, take note of the colour coding of our attachments. Cooking by colour is a much more streamlined experience when using recipes from our test kitchen, as we'll always reference the colour of the attachment that is relevant to that step of the cooking process. Once you're done with your food prep, an easy clean is in order. The bowl, accessories and are all perfectly safe in the dishwasher. To clean the motor base, wipe with a soft, damp cloth. 
Avoid using abrasive scouring pads on the base or bowl. Now that you have unboxed and assembled your food processor, it's time to start creating dishes where precision makes perfect.